Hey, welcome to a new video. Now, I've done quite a few sound bars on this channel. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Um, so, I noticed that there was a Bose. So, I've done the Bose 500 series. The sound bar, the, the bass module. I forget what they call that. But, there's a new one. The Bose 500 is gone. So now, it's Bose Smart smart soundbar 300 now um so our future goal is to have an rv so in rvs someone come with soundbars now soundbars come with most rvs are mm, pretty bad so i've noticed a lot of people upgrade their soundbars to like a yamaha or, or even a bose so i thought you know what what do you get when you just have a bose soundbar and that's it does it give you good sound? Um, is there enough bass to really make the game pop? Because we, we play lots of games, so this is just a sound bar. I don't have the bass module. I don't have the surround speakers. It's just this by itself. And I got this at Walmart, of all places. So I got this at Walmart for $3.99. So we'll see how this um, turns out. Uh, of course, I will flip the camera around. We're going to look and see what the box says, and then we'll look inside of it. Hook it up, simple hookup, uh, one HDMI arc in, arc out. I think it's arc out. So it goes, you know, both ways. So plug into the TV, put, take my PS5, plug it into the TV, and everything runs through the TV to the soundbar, in theory. So before we get started, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's uh, turn the camera around and see what all it says. It's got some statements I guess so here is the front of the box it says Bose and uh, looks like it's got some kind of yeah we'll figure out what that is smart soundbar it's all for the front now here's the top same thing smart soundbar official soundbar of the NFL I don't really care about that so let's spin this bad boy around here now, the back of it says, Big Bold Sound for Movies, Music, and TV. Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant are built in. That's that's nifty. We're available. Control your TV with your voice using Bose Voice for, audio, for Video. Technology and Alexa. Stream music through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or Apple AirPlay 2. HDMI art connector support CEC. What's well, very important, CEC? Dolby Digital. So it's not Dolby Atmos. It says you can pair it with optional Bose bass modules and Bose surround speakers. Pair with Bose headphones and Bluetooth speakers. Using Bose simple like sync. Works with other Bose smart speakers for multi-room sound. Of course, it's in other language. And the back shows right here. So Google Assistant Alexa works with AirPlay. Works with Android. It has Bluetooth, fantastic, Wi-Fi, Dolby Audio, HDMI. So it's compatible. 300 is compatible with AirPlay 2. iOS 11.4 or later is required. Comes with soundbar, remote, two cables. Yay. So if you watched my um, Sonos speaker from Ikea, I talked about doing a whole setup and stuff with the Sonos. There, there's one thing I do not like about Sonos is um, it's internet always. Is what it needs I do believe to work um, different you know I didn't try it out so I don't I don't know but from what I've read is that you need internet for it everything to work there's no remote with it so you need your your phone to sync to it to use a Sonos app to change everything I'm not a huge fan of that especially in our you know in our future is gonna be RV space so it may not be the best connectivity out there so so I'm going to look at some different ones uh, and also the size is you know I don't need a, such a big soundbar I think this is only 20, 27 inches which is fantastic the Sonos Beam is a small one too to try but with the whole internet thing we'll, we'll see with my research um, if I can figure out how to make it work without internet Go on all the time without Wi-Fi going so let's get this box open. 
What, what are we waiting for? So it looks like you just pull here and you pull here and it opens. That's, hmm. All right, so you just pull here. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Pull here. It's the simple things. Wow. Nothing too much to explain, but this is a soundbar. It is a good size, too. Um, I think this can fit in most, most spaces. Below the soundbar is, you get in, looks like, optical and power. I will not be using this. Put that back in there. Now we'll need, we'll need the power. Some instructions. A remote. Interesting. Nothing below that side. Nothing below that side. And this looks like filler. One thing I don't see is batteries. Maybe this has, oh, it's got a flat cell battery in here. Cool. Oh, that's so cute. Yep. All right. Smart bar, start here. Place your sound bar. Keep at least one to three feet away from other wireless equipment. That's, that's true. Um, Keep this away from your routers and stuff. Connect it to power. Use the Bose Music app to control it. Control audio playback. Enable auto wake. Adjust audio from for wall mounting. Interesting. And it's in another language that I don't read. Pretty simple. Safety instructions, I guess. Put that back in there. Put this in here. Put that. Put this in. I don't really need these things anymore. We'll save them. Let's take a look at the soundbar now. shaky okay here we go bows looks like it's got some lights here what does that say oh you can turn off the microphone that's good don't want them to be listening to you at all times Put the back here it's very heavy if i'm honest uh let's see here says 100 watts of power is what it will consume. So you got your power, it goes here. Infrared, your base module if you wanna do a run and wire, but it can be done wirelessly. Optical service if they've never needed to service it. And then HDMI arc goes there. Looks like some kind of base port or ventilation. And then there's some kind of weird I know they use a nice, a different style of mounting bracket style with this, so rubber, rubber pads on the bottom, really cool. So I guess if you do wall mounting, you just, but for our purpose, it's just going to sit right on TV stand. Well, that's nice. Let's hook it up. So before I get it all hooked up, um, here's a photo uh, from Bose.com of the speakers inside and what it looks like, because I found one. So, I mean, it seems pretty high tech. So I'm gonna walk over here, plug it in. It should be really easy, but a lot of commenters want to know how things hook up. So here we go. So I have the soundbar placed below my TV. So this is an HDMI monster that is plugged into my TV. 
on the arc port. So look on your arc port. Label on your TV. Now, go back here, plug in one cable just like that. Voila. Now, simple. I like that it's pointed sideways in some cases. I mean, I guess if you're wall mounting, it may be weird. Because how are you going to... I don't understand how that's going to work. Yeah. Power cable. Let's, uh, let's cut it. All right, so I got the power. Out of the bag. I'm going to get the twist tie off of here. And, um... It's also a sideways type of plug. So, oh, that's cool. It's got a little, hmm. Goes in there like that, like so. And then run this to some power. And, um, there you cable. Now, no, normally I, I would use black cables, but this all I have this sitting around. So, yeah. And now, let me find some. Power. So the top one, HDMI number, what does that say? Three, it says ARC. So I got this one, goes to my Bose. Two, goes to my PS5. Wow, I just plugged it in, it's interesting. All right, so here's this little remote. It's cool looking. Let's cut it open. Gently light. Safety first. I say that and then I don't do it. Okay, here we go. I didn't want to scratch it, so I didn't really push hard to cut it open. Okay, there it is. Feels fine. Got that. I guess so it fits. Goes flat. It does have a flat saw battery. We can get this open real quick. See what it looks like. It is a 2032, which you can find just about everywhere these days. Leave that in there. I assume it's not. It is odd though. It didn't have any type of. Um, guard on it so it didn't just drain power so they must know it's a low power remote so yeah it's nice i got the box up there so i'm gonna do what i normally do i'm going to play some games games maybe try to watch a movie maybe serve some of it and listen to some uh copyright free music to get this you know how it sounds with some bass and some vocals but the main thing is can it throw some sound around me while while i'm playing games i mean it's gonna be a, a big question it sounded good when the sound came on so it's all hooked up it's super easy one cable to the tv everything plugs into your tv and it should all work in theory you may have to jump in the settings to, on your tv and change your um how it how it does the sound i think i'm Mine will probably read it correctly and throw it as Dolby out. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. Let's get into uh, this now. Um, I'm gonna hit the sound button. No on screen either. That's... I guess I have to hit the TV button to get sound back. And it's back. Now under your PlayStation settings, you can change stuff. Go here, go to sound. Uh, the output is this HDMI type. Um, let's go with soundbar. Number of channels, ooh, cannot change it. Oh, that can we change it? Hmm, interesting. Let's turn on soundbar for now. And let's see what it does. Also, go down to see this right here. 
for the dopey. And if you have a Samsung TV, you hit settings. Go down to sound, go to expert settings. This will show you right here. Format is Bitstream, Dolby Digital. Of course, you can auto delay, sound feedback, yeah, and reset. Voila. So, what's first? First off, let's turn the volume down. Hmm. Got my bright lights on, it's kind of odd looking. So, I'm going to download the Bose music app and see if there's any type of settings I can change with the soundbar because the remote and there's no on-screen display so yeah the box still there so um I download the app I suggest you do that too if you have the Bose 300 download the app do an update and then on the app you can uh, adjust the wall IQ you can also adjust dialogue mode Bass, treble, and raise your inner channel up and down. So that's, you know, that's beneficial. I guess you can't do it from this. I don't know if there's a way to do it from this little remote without the app. So get the app. Anyways, let's play some games. So with Destiny, we're learning to the tower. Let's see how this plays. We'll talk to somebody. See how dialogue is. Eververse deals in all manner of goods. Okay. True. No address. No address. Uh, sure, let's get this one. Okay, see how it deals with sound. Behind you. So I turn the treble to maximum, I turn the bass to maximum, just to see how much bass is there. Hmm. Now it's Call of Duty. Oh, I may have missed that. There you go. Call of Duty. Treyarch. Raven. Activision. HDR is turned on. Okay, we'll play some Call of Duty. Take the objectives. We're losing the advantage. Enemy spy plane inbound. Enemy spy plane above. Losing A. Eliminate spy plane. Charlie, 
So, I mean, it, it sounds fine. Um, I think it's got plenty of uh, usable bass for most people, most things. It does throw the sound kind of around you, but not a full surround like I have speakers there. Not a full surround sound setup, but it, it tries. So I'm gonna try to watch something, a movie. I can't show much of it because it's gonna be copyrighted, but uh, we'll see. Let's see if we can hear some topic like gunfire coming around us. So from that bits and pieces that I showed you, I mean, it's, it's a good sound bar. Um, it's a little expensive for, for what it is, I guess, but it is Bose. It's, um, yeah, it's loud and good bass for such a small little, little sound bar. So, um, let's find some music now. Here we go. This next MacBook Pro is going to be the MacBook. We're sorry. Lots of air coming from the bass part. This song. Hopefully, they don't get in trouble for that. Putting that little clip on there. Uh, just to get. I mean, it sounds good. I'm I'm surprised at how good it sounds for being what it is. So if you're in an RV or you're in a tight space and you just need some some good sound from a 27 inch soundbar. It's only two inches tall. Um, and I think it's four inches deep, maybe three and a half, but four inches deep. The Bose Smart Soundbar 300 is is a winner. Uh, I'm not doing the full surround and the sub and just this on itself for $3.99 at Walmart. It's fantastic. So it will be my pick for, for an RV. So uh, our RV plans are uh, about 10 months away. So I'm about to hold on to this one for about 10 months. So yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, if you're a Bose fan, you'll, you'll probably like this one. So uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, until the next one, bye-bye.